हेलो एवरीवन इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू आवर लेक्चर्स ऑन द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ द ड्रग डिजाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फार्मेको डायनेमिक प्रॉपर्टीज इन अ ड्रग डिजाइन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स दैट देयर आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स इन द ड्रग डिजाइन एंड द ड्रग स्ट्रेटजीज टू इंप्रूव दैट इज द फार्मेको काइनेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज एंड द फार्मेको डायनेमिक प्रॉपर्टीज and both of them have equal priorities in influencing the biological action of a drug among both of them we have already discussed about the pharmacokinetic properties to improve and today we are going to discuss about the pharmacodynamic properties to improve for improving the pharmacodynamic properties one has to optimize the drug target interactions and the aims is to maximize the interactions of a drug with its target binding site in order to improve the activity selectivity and to minimize the side effect designing a drug that can be synthesized efficiently and cheaply is another priority The aim of the drug optimization can be achieved by different strat- strategies on the lead compound structure activity relationships such as variation of the substituents extension of the structure ring variation ring fusion isosteres and the bioisosteres simplification of the structure rigidification of the structure and the conformational blockers So let's discuss each and every topic one by one. Coming to the length and the size of the alkyl substituents that can be modified to fill up on the hydrophobic pockets in the binding site or to introduce selectivity for one target over another. Alkyl groups attached to hetero atoms are most easily modified. For example adrenaline adrenaline is a neurotransmitter which is released by adrenal glands it contains a methyl group on this nitrogen in the structure and it binds to adrenergic alpha beta receptors to show its action as compared to adrenaline this methyl group is replaced by the tertiary butyl groups in the sol butamol because the receptor selectivity is dependent on the size of the alkyl groups present on the nitrogen atom as the size of the alkyl group increases the activity of the alpha receptor decreases and the activity of the beta receptors increases because beta receptors has a large lipophilic binding pocket and the tertiary butyl groups gives the selectivity towards the beta receptor substitution of this branched and bulky propyl group present on the amino group provides the nucleophilicity and it helps in the interaction with the hydrophobic pocket located in the binding site making the propanolol a drug which is a beta blocker now coming to the aromatic substitution the aromatic substituents can be varied in character or in ring position for example the benzopyra The benzopyran derivatives with a triple ring have a prolongation effect on the arterial ERP. ERP is the effective refractive the refractory period. And this can be used for the treatment of arrhythmias. And if we compare the substitute substituent at position number 6, 7 and 8 then we observed that the anti arrhythmic activity is best when there is substitution at 7th position 
द बाइंडिंग स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द एन एच टू एज हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड डोनर इज एफेक्टेड बाई द रिलेटिव पोजिशन ऑफ द एन ओ टू दैट इज वेदर द सब्सिट्यूएंट इज ऑन एट ऑर्थो मेटा और द पैरा पोजिशन एंड द स्ट्रॉगर इफेक्ट इज ऑब्जर्व वैन द एन ओ टू इज एट पैरा पोजिशन बिकॉज हियर द इलेक्ट्रॉन विड्रॉइंग इफेक्ट इज ड्यू टू द रिजोनेस एंड द इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट Now coming to the extension the extension is a strategy where extra functional groups are added to the lead compound in order to interact with extra binding region in the binding site lead compounds are capable of fitting the binding site and have the functional groups needed to interact with some of the important binding regions present however it is possible that they do not interact with all the binding regions available so extension is done so that the lead compound binds to all the binding sites available for example in this figure the lead compound this lead compound binds to the three binding sites 1 2 3 but fails to bind the fourth site here available so attaching one extra functional group in the structure may locate the fourth site which is available for the binding this extension tactic were used in the development of second generation ace inhibitors this is the structure of the ace inhibitor and this is the hydrophobic pocket present at the binding site if we observe it carefully then we observe that this site is vacant here and adding a phenyl alkyl group to the structure of ace inhibitor increase the activity which is an example of the extension strategy enla prelet showed a 1000 fold improvement in the inhibition demonstrating that the extra ring was binding to the hydrophobic pocket in the enzyme's active site now the extension is strategy we can also go for the variation in the ring size if a drug has one or more rings that are important to binding a common strategy is to make analogs with the ring expanded or contracted the principle behind this approach is much same as varying the substitution pattern of the aromatic ring in that the position of the substituent groups are finely adjusted and the angles slightly changed expanding or contracting a ring may put other rings in different positions relative to each other and lead to a better interaction with the specific regions in the binding site this is an example in which these tricyclic rings having 656 ring system are in limited interaction with the hydrophobic regions which are shown in the pink color but the expansion of the ring that is the number of carbons in this ring is increased and conversion in 676 ring system has optimal interaction with the hydrophobic regions shown in the pink colors the tactic was also used during the development of the cleja prelet cleja prelet is also 
uh, ACE inhibitor. This bicyclic structure which is shown here, this bicyclic structure showed promising activity. The important binding site being the two carboxylate, carboxylate this is one and this is two. These two carboxylate groups and the amide group here, the amide group is present here. By carrying out ring expansion in the cleja prelate, this ring is expanded as compared to this ring. It was identified as a structure having the optimum interaction. That is the three point of interaction. The both of these carboxylate ion have also the interaction and the amide group also have interaction. So here in this structure there is a three point of interaction with the ACE enzymes binding site. Now coming to the rings acting as a scaffold for the important binding groups can be varied in order to give novel class of the drugs which have improved properties. For example, Nevirapine. The Nevirapine is an antiviral agent. This Nevirapine is an antiviral agent and this first structure is the structure of the lead compound and replacement of one of the carbon atom in this ring with nitrogen basically this aromatic ring is changed into a heterocyclic ring and this provides an additional binding site in the structure of the nevirapine this will provide a additional binding site in the structure of the nevirapine which is an antiviral agent ring variation sometimes results in improved properties like this is an antifungal agent having a diazole ring in the structure which is replaced by a triazole ring in this newer compound and this result in the improved selectivity of the drug. Rings can also be fused to the existing rings in order to maximize the binding interactions or to increase the selectivity of one target over the, over the another. For example, the 1H parazole 35 diamine moiety. This moiety have often been involved in the biological studies focused on the antibacterial or the antiviral activity. This pyrazole moiety having a fused ring, both of these two rings are fused, has also been used in the studies associated with the cell growth disorders to find efficient inhibitors of JAK2 which can be potentially used as a drugs for cancer therapy. This is another fused pyrazole moiety which is used for anti coxsackie activity. Coxsackie virus are the non-enveloped viruses with the linear single standard RNA Infections of these viruses cause mild flu-like symptoms. Now coming to the classical and the non-classical isosteres. And we have already discussed in the pharmacokinetic video this topic. If you want, you can check out the video. Please press the I button on above, present above. Now coming to the simplification. Simplification involves removing the functional groups from the lead compound that are not the part of the pharmacophore. Lead compound from the natural sources are often complex and difficult to synthesize. Simplifying the molecules makes the synthesis of the analogs easier, quicker and cheaper. Simpler structure may fill the binding site better and increase the activity. Simpler structure may be more selective and less toxic. And this can be done by 
retaining the pharmacophore and removing the unnecessary functional group present like this is the structure of morphin and the removal of the extra functional groups which are shown in the brown color removal of all these extra functional groups from the morphine produces the structure of levorphanol and the removal of this extra functional group from the levorphanol produces the drug metajosin which is an opioid analgesic so the simplification results in a drug but it is important to know that over simplification can result in the molecules that are too flexible resulting in decreased activity and selectivity now coming to the rigidification rigidification is used on flexible lead compounds the aim is to reduce the number of conformations available while retaining the active conformation locking rotable rings into ring structure or introducing rigid functional groups are the common methods of rigidification example the com combrita statin the combrita statin is an anti cancer agent There is a presence of rotable bond in a combrita statin structure which can be converted to a rigid bond by the removal of this hydroxy group by the removal of this hydroxy group hence introduction of a double bond makes the structure rigid and results in Z and E isomer of this drug and the z isomer of this drug is more active now coming to the conformational blockers the conformational blockers are the groups which are introduced into a lead compound to reduce the number of conformations that the molecule can adopt through steric interaction The conformational restriction is also a form of rigidification of a flexible ligand and has often been a commonly used strategy in drug design as it is can minimize the entropic loss associated with the ligand adopting a preferred conformation for binding which leads to enhanced potency for a given physiological target improved selectivity for the isoforms and reduce the possibility of drug metabolism for example the rivastegmine rivastegmine is a choline esterase inhibitor approved in 2000 for the alzheimer's therapy in the further modification process this compound this compound bearing a sulfur containing system was designed as a conformationally restricted analog of the rivastegmine and this compound showed a higher efficacy being 192 fold more potent than the rivastegmine another example include the hdac8 inhibitors that is the histone d acetylase inhibitors these are the drugs which are used as anti cancer drugs the conformational restrictions here here in the structure the conformational restriction here in the structure is applied to enhance the bioactivity the conformation with the increased potency and selectivity of this drug so this is all about the pharmacodynamic properties to be modified in the drug design if you like this video please do subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for your time